Welcome to Stogie Palace. I'm your host Chris. Today I have the Crown Heads La Imperiosa. This is a 5.7 by 46 Corona Gorda. Looks kind of like a Slim Jim. Full strength. I've had it for a little over two months. Got it from my friend down in Texas, Chris. Thank you once again for sending one on my wish list, ones that I wanted to uh, review in the future. These can be, so I got it for free, but these are uh, on Cigar International, this size and a pack of five, $7.80 each. Uh, the wrapper is Ecuadorian Habano Oscuro and it's made in Nicaragua at the My Father factory. Real quick thought that came to mind. You know, I, I pulled out this cigar and like all the other cigars, I take a look at it, sometimes with the old magnifying glass, if I need it, um, to determine how I'm gonna cut it. Is it gonna be a punch cut? Yeah, maybe if it's wide and flat top on the head, flat head. Is it going to be a V cut? Well, like I've said in my other videos, uh, I have two V cutters. One's a cheapo that doesn't cut too deep, but it actually works pretty good. Then I have one that's a little bit more, Calibri, that cuts a little too deep and it causes leakage. It's a cool cutter, but, you know, it cuts a little too deep. And, of course, there's a straight cut, which is what I did here. So that's one of the things you have to figure out, you know, how should I cut this? It's not always the same, you know, you, a straight color cutter may not cut it for you every time, no pun intended. But it, of course I think back to days when <sighs> chew it off, tore I've all the same mistakes we've all made. Or even worse, at the time didn't know it, the people that put the cigar in their mouth <laughs> and on both ends, get it all wet, slobber all over it, and then cut it. Uh, I can think of myself doing that 25 years ago and I didn't know any better. Um, but you think about it, you know, you want the cigar to be as, not as nature intended it, but as the blender and maker and rollers intended to be. And the taste of your saliva, I don't think that's what they were going for when they wanted you to enjoy that wrapper, which is the most expensive part of any leaf that's put on a cigar. So just some random thoughts there. No chewing. No tongue in it, no slobbering all over it. Especially if you're at a smoke shop and you're using their cutter, don't put it in your mouth first and then cut it. You know why? Well, you're getting your slab all over their cutter. So anyway, so there is the straight cut. Still kind of looks like a Slim Jim there too. Medium to tight draw. Nice, deep, dark, cocoa, chocolatey kind of flavors. Sweet barnyardy there. So this will be interesting um, because you have more wrapper than usual for the percentage of tobacco on the inside since it's a thinner ring gauge. So enough chit chat. Let's get this thing going. So from uh, La, for Crown Heads website, it says La Imperiosa is the second Crown Heads regular production brand follow it, following up Jericho Hill. Released by my father's factory in Esteli, Nicaragua for worldwide distribution. Definitely don't want to overheat this thing. Mmm, got a great smell right off the bat. Originally a Cuban brand from the early 1900s, La Imperiosa translates to the imperative, or that which is absolutely necessary or required. The La Imperiosa artwork and band were inspired by the original Cuban vista and band of years gone by. It's got a crown on there. You can see a little dark spot there, that right in the dead center that's a little slower to, to burn. You probably see it there too. As the wrapper, you see that? It's starting to come undone a little. Have to keep an eye on that. The blend of 100% Nicaraguan binder and filler tobaccos, finished with a dark and imposing Ecuador Habano Oscuro wrapper, is identical to the Las Calaveras 2014 blend. So, if you've seen videos or reviews of the Las Calaveras 2014, not the 2015, completely different cigar. This is the same cigar. 
Released in May of 2014, the Las Calaveras 2014 brand went on to become one of the year's most sought-after new releases and was praised by cigar enthusiasts around the world. Despite selling out in a matter of weeks, the demand for Las Calaveras 2014 remained high and constant. As a result, it became imperative and absolutely necessary to respond to that demand. And this is that cigar. Ooh, I can tell already I'm going to be digging this. Nice, deep, rich flavor, aroma. Wow, good stuff. And I had a feeling I was going to like it. Crown Heads, my father, can't go wrong. I've rated them all really high. Matter of fact, Top two rated cigars I've ever smoked. My father, Florida Las Antillas, natural Maduro, as of the time of this recording. And then uh, the Crowned Heads, Paniolo, 2015, rated very high too. So. Hmm. Once again, a little bit different flavor coming through the retro hail there. No burn, no sting. Oh, I think this is going to be a winner. So, probably be shorter than most. It should with a smaller size. We'll see. About 35 minutes into this La Imperiosa. It's terrific. Before I uh, ended the last clip, I mentioned about not overheating it. What do I mean by that? Excuse me. Well, with a thinner ring gauge like this, or with Panatellas, is that what they're called, Panatellas? Those thinner ones, whatever they're called. Um, anything below 50 ring gauge. You have to worry about it getting too hot. It's overheating it, and if it gets too hot, it can get bitter. Well, I did get one puff of a weird thing in this cigar. It was, uh, I can only assume that it was because of overheating, because it was only one time, it went away immediately. And it was a weird sensation too. It was on the way, way back. Back of the top of the uh, tongue, roof of the mouth back there. Pretty far back. Mostly on the very top of the back of the tongue. Way back there. And uh, it was a strange sensation. I've, I've overheated cigars before. I know what that's like. This one uh, was just a little bit different. A little weird. But I, I, I had a feeling that's what it was from because... I had smoked some, smoked it again, you know, I, there wasn't a whole lot of uh, time in between, and, and narrowing gauge, you had to be careful about that. But the flavor and aroma, this reminds me a lot of actually of uh, a Padron. I know it's not made by them, it's a, my father, but uh, still, very, very nice. About an hour and 40 minutes into this La Imperiosa by Crown Heads. Great cigar. I uh, threw that picture up there to show you a couple things. First of all, the, the burn line on this cigar is the thinnest burn line I've ever seen on a cigar. I mean, there were times where it was so thin you could barely even see the burn line. What that means is that very well aged tobacco and very well uh, fermented just great the other thing on that picture was the band which I'm pretty positive this is uh, comes from cigar rings in uh, Santiago Dominican Republic where I went and I'm pretty sure I saw these there they make all kinds of different bands for just about everything the thing that's interesting I saw on the back I don't know if you can pick that up or not is some of the leftover gold dust on the sticky side here and uh, when I saw bands like these being made it was real gold dust all over the place and you can see there's some embossing on there and the gold all over the place pretty cool so appearance wise great wrappers very well done nice habano wrapper there no flaws whatsoever of course the cigar band itself looks pretty cool burn and aroma like i said that burn line 
unbelievably thin. Pretty much perfect throughout. Uh, the aroma is outstanding. It smells terrific. Taste. Um, it did give it a little ding here because that little strange twinge of bitterness way in the back of the top of the tongue there happened a couple times. Odd little thing there. a little flavor. I'm sure it's probably intentional. Just something I noticed. But no. Smooth. There, I will say the middle third, there was a little bit of harshness in there, but that went away and it's not there now. I wasn't overheating it, and when I said Panatella earlier, I meant uh, a Lancero. So, um, for this size of cigar, I thought it was going to be a tight pack. It felt kind of like a little solid cigar, like, like I said, like a Slim Jim, but no, perfect draw throughout. Just great. Uh, let's see. I think I covered everything there. Strength? While I will say body is full strength, I wouldn't say it's full. I would say medium plus, maybe medium full. Not really picking up a whole lot of nicotine strength off that. Now, I don't know how long the person who gave this to me had it. Could have been for a long time. Could have been for a short time. Don't know. I've only had it for two months, 65% humidity, and it's 16% out here, so it's pretty dry. So, not getting a whole lot of strength. Uh, overall, I rated this a 96 and a very high 96. <laughs> quite high. It's almost right up there with the Crown Heads Paniola 2015. Not quite, but pretty darn close. So overall, just a terrific cigar. Would I buy more? Yes, without any doubt whatsoever. Eight bucks a piece? For as well as performing and the qualities of it, easily worth that and this one's probably gonna last another 15 minutes so probably gonna get two hours out of a corona gorda that's pretty good so once again this has been the crown heads la imperiosa this is chris stogie palace thanks for watching thanks for checking out the other videos and commenting and really appreciate it and i'll see you later